Hey YouTube, Mark here. Today is another fun day of cooking. I'm going to use my brand new built smoker. Um, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to do here. Uh, this is my traditional turkey that I've done before in the past. You can see the video on my channel. Uh, <laughs> When I bought the uh, refrigerator to build the smoker, uh, when I got to the recycling center, I found exactly what I wanted and everything, and I was so excited. I had my friend Berto there with me, and I asked the guy how much for it, he's like, ah, three bucks, no problem. I wiped out my debit card, he goes, no, I don't take that stuff. So I needed cash, I had no cash on me whatsoever, so my friend Robert actually coughed up the three bucks under the condition that whenever I smoke something, if he wanted something smoked, that I would do it for him. Well, being I got something new to do on the smoker, he goes, well, I just smoked me off a turkey. So that's what the turkey is for. That's for my friend Berto. This here is a ham. I've never smoked a ham before. This is something new for me. Uh, it's got a maple bourbon glaze on it, a uh, couple tablespoons of maple, a tablespoon of bourbon, a tablespoon of uh, oil, a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, stuff like that. Uh, you just mix it up into a little paste, you smear it all over the, the exterior. Now the step before that is you take the maple good maple syrup. Don't go with artificial crap, okay? Good maple syrup, and I injected probably about a half a cup of maple into the ham. Really give it a nice sweet maple flavor. And then of course I put the paste all around it. I, I wrapped it up in plastic, let it sit overnight in the refrigerator just to kind of get the, the flavors kind of meld into the meat a little bit. And uh, yeah, so that's been it. So now I'm going to go outside, get the smoker set up. I'm going to show you how it works. And I, I really like it a lot. I think it's going to make uh, my smoking a little bit more pleasurable. I don't have to sit outside and monitor the, the temperature as much. You know, just kind of basically set it and forget it type stuff. So let's go outside and get that set up. Hey YouTube, we're outside. I got the grill, or got the smoker all set up. It's not really a grill, it's a smoker. Um, this is an old Philco refrigerator, 1943, I think. I'm not quite sure about the model. But, uh, yeah, let me uh, bring you in a little closer and I'll show you exactly what I got going on here. Okay, got a temperature probe there. As you can see, it's pretty cold out here. It's uh, currently 36 degrees, according to that. I got my ignition source as in a little propane lighter. The heat, the uh, temperature probe goes to the back. As you can see, I didn't really paint it or anything. It's still the white. But the temperature probe goes in through the vent and then it, uh, it just uses the alligator clip um, just like what I used in the grill. I just have it on the inside of the smoker now. Of course, propane power, that's that's my fuel source. Turn the can on. This will regulate my flame and how hot I want to get it. There is my turkey fryer element. This little plate here. Actually, you put that when it starts up. That way it kind of disperses the flame a little bit more. You don't have a uh, direct flame hitting your, uh, your pot. Speaking of pots, my good old cast iron skillet filled up with a little bit of uh, hickory and apple wood. That'll make for a good smoke. So that's basically my smoker. The, uh, the handle does latch onto the door. So it's the old fashioned locking door which ended up becoming illegal because well kids were getting trapped in and dying so it's kind of a rarity to find it 
I got my shelves set up. Got enough space for my turkey and my ham in there. And uh, as you can see down below, I never really, uh, I never made that hole any better, did I? <laughs> so yeah, it's all set to go. I just gotta fire it up and get it going. Well, so as you can see, really easy to set up, really easy to get going. Temperatures are already up around 200 degrees. I've only been out here for like five minutes. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. So I'm going to go inside, I'm going to get the meat, bring it out here and get it in there. Okay, I've got the, my turkey out here. I'm going to put that on first because it is a raw meat. At least the ham is already cooked, I just have to reheat it. So I'm going to get the turkey on first. It'll take a lot longer to cook than that ham will. So. There we go. Uh, I'll let that cook for eh, probably a good two hours before I even put the ham in. So after just a couple of minutes of having this started up, I'm getting some good smoke already. It just smells wonderful. Temperature's getting up there. Now the only thing about this is the, the control valve, the, the red knob, it's very finicky. I mean just the slightest little turn and it could jump up. 10 degrees. I'm mean, like that. It's really quite uh, quite touchy. So it's more of a like, you know, I can get it close to what I want. You know, I, I don't think I can get it as precise as I'd like it, but I can get it very close. But once it's there, it's there. It doesn't really move. Unless like, some huge breeze picks up or something like that, I know my temperatures are going to be fine. So yeah, that's my smoker. I love it. But yeah, it's not airtight. I expected some leakage around the door. I, I wasn't expecting it to be completely airtight. So that's all in the plan. Looks pretty darn good to me. 228. Can't ask for anything better than that, man. It's, it's just amazing. There's, a, there's even a good breeze that blows around uh, every so often. It'll kick up and you know my smoke will be everywhere. And, but I tell you, that temperature, it's not moving. It's it's awesome. Well, I don't see much smoke coming out of my smoker, so more than likely it needs some wood now. It's been a couple hours, and uh, I think I'm going to throw the ham in. Yeah, temperature is still doing fine. Uh, Two twenty-eight. So uh, I'm going to get the ham in there, I'm going to put a little more wood down in the bottom, go back inside and watch some TV. That is a fabulous looking turkey. I am sorry, but that is wonderful. It smells great. What I was really impressed with when I pulled it out, being that I've never done a turkey out there before, was how much, the, I don't even know how well the, the smoke was covered. Uh, I mean, all around it's completely smoked. There's no light spots, no super dark spots or anything like that. The underside, 
you know, sitting on top of the, uh, the grate, right above the heat. Yeah, it did get a little bit darker. I'm happy with it. This is awesome. The only time, the only spot you really see that's, that's really got light smoke is right here in this little joint of the wing. That's about it. I would say this is a very successful test of that smoker. It performed great and I'm very happy with it. Um, I got a probe now in the ham. It's probably going to take another mm, about an hour or so to get the uh, ham done. So now the big part is I can't touch that because that's bird toast. I can't eat it. it sucks. <laughs> it smells awesome. Okay, ham's in, all done. I got it up to 140 degrees. It's been on the smoke for, uh, well, five and a half hours. So yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I thought it was gonna be. I was thinking five, but five and a half isn't bad. Uh, as you can see, I've already had a sample of it. Oh, it is so good. Called up my friend Robert. He came and picked up his turkey, which is a good thing because I was about ready to start picking into that too. This is a great recipe. I'll have the uh, ingredient list all on the uh, description below. So if you want to make it yourself, feel free, modify it how you wish, add things, subtract things, do whatever you want. And I hope you enjoy this one. This is Mark saying thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the road. Mmm. The uh, recipe has a lot of black pepper in it, so I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of heat up front, too. Wow, that's actually more than I thought. I'm really happy with this. This is really good. Mmm.